seems like uh, over the course of this young season that uh, you have gained the confidence of uh, your teammates. What does that mean for you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I think with any good team, you have the confidence in all your teammates, and I think that's kind of what we're building here. I think uh, everyone on the team is kind of coming together pretty early in the season, so I think that's really good for us. Can you take me through the mechanics of that, that shot that you've, you know, seem to have uh, developed a little bit more this year? Yeah, I think, I think that started my driveway when I was about eight years old, but uh, just trying to keep it sharp and, and use it when I can. Uh, I think it's one of my uh, specialties or whatever it's called, but uh, so I try to use it as much as I can for sure. What are you looking for when you receive that pass and then, and then kind of what happens from when you get it to what you're looking for? Yeah, just a lane to the net. Uh, with the guys we have on our team, you're, you're always going to get passes. So it's just a question of finding that lane and getting it off. Just looking at like guys like Danny DeKaiser and Jordy Ben, anything that's caught your eye from them in the first few days of well, Ben being here, but DeKaiser being here longer? Yeah, I mean, everything they do, they just do it like pros. Uh, it's really easy to pick up off, off guys like that that uh, have been playing for so long and been playing well for so long. So... Uh, as much as I can, just try and kind of shadow them and, and see what they're doing and kind of implement stuff that they do to my game. Is there anything you've picked up specifically that you've tried to use? Or? Yeah, I think, I think a big thing for me uh, watching them has been just their sticks. I think uh, over the years, obviously, they, they know how to use their sticks so efficiently and, and so well and break up plays and have it in the right spot. So just kind of picking up on little stuff like that to, to be able to try and implement that and kind of shadow them and use it in my game. Greg, uh, minimizing the three and three games, uh, that was the schedule idea. Three and four, still a, a bit of a, a haul here for these guys over last weekend and now three and four coming up this weekend. Yeah, I mean, it helps to eliminate the three and threes. I think we have two this year. Uh, but with the travel uh, within the three and fours, it still makes it challenging. and. All the teams are typically in the same boat, so uh, there's no excuses uh, regardless either way. When you look at uh, the D out here, when you got a guy like Jordy Ben still here and Danny DeKaiser hanging around, can you see almost the, the knowledge that's being transferred to some of these young guys? Yeah, and it shows the signs of their character and uh, their willingness and excitement to be here at this level right now and, and being a part of this team and helping our players uh, grow and learn from, from their experience. How much can like guys like Noel Hoffenmeyer learn from playing with Jordy Venn and DeKaiser? Oh, endless. Uh, and it's not even sometimes a conversation or a question that they might ask. It's watching them play, uh, their timing around the rink, how they're positioning themselves off of uh, other checks or depending on where the puck's at. There's, there's, your brain's always, always calculating, processing. And for them to just watch it happen is probably even more valuable. Just in terms of injuries, Danny DeKaiser in the red, is there any update in terms of what happened there? Uh, just upper body day to day. Will you grin, is he now up with the Leafs and Jordy Ben down here still with on a conditioning loan? Lilligren is not here with us today. <laughs>